In this lesson, I want to show you how to add a feature box. So let's click on feature box. And feature box is a great because it allows you to add features. You can use icons uh, with them. You can choose what position that the icon or the image shows on this. So I'm just going to leave everything right now as the default. And I'm going to click on apply. So what we want to do now is we want to add, you know, a couple more columns. So let's make this a three column. And let's click on save. And we're going to just duplicate this one. Just clone it and drag it over. Clone this one, drag it over. Uh, okay, so now let's save this and view it in the front end. And the reason I'm doing it is because I want you to be able to see how the feature box work. So this is what you have. You have three separate boxes here. And you can change these to, uh, let's go up here. So let's edit the feature boxes. So I want to click on this one here. You can add icons or an image. So you can choose to the position that the icon or the image shows. So scroll down here. And you can choose the icon type or an image type. And let's choose an icon. And you can change the size of this icon. So we have to set 36. Let's make this 75. And let's put some colors here. Blue. You can choose a background color. Uh, border color and you can set the border width let's put that at 5 the radius put this at 10 and you can choose where do you want it to be aligned left center or right and just click on apply so now you see how this looks it gave it a border it gave it a background color so you have three different colors going on here and um, you can change these to however you want it to be so let's say for this one you didn't want this one to be an icon but you want to change the layout type to image so let's click on the image and we're going to grab one of the images that we have it's going to grab this here so we'll have an image now and you can change the, uh, the alignment where the image shows so I want this image to show on the left side instead of the top or the center and then click on apply so right now you notice because this one is as big it's not really showing anything the space that is taken is covering this whole part so you can always come back here and let's change this before so now you see you have the image at the top and then you have the information here the text here at the bottom and you can do the same thing for this one you can choose different colors and let's choose a different icon here and let's make this one 128 so if you don't change any of the settings here if you don't change any of the colors it's going to give it that default color and you can change the alignment and for the styles here you can change the text colors that you want for this whole text so if you want the text if you don't want the text to be white which is the I mean black which is default and you want it to be let's say uh, this color right here you click and you click on apply so now you've changed the text to a different color it's not black which is the default uh, and it gives you you know several options uh, for, for you you know add this how you want them to be you can add an image you can add an icon it is really great uh, the flexibility that you have so you can change the background color uh, you can align this anywhere that you want if you wanted to add uh, another row or add another column with these all you have to do is just you can clone it uh, and then just keep adding and editing it. So it's very simple to do.